So this Photoshop tutorial is only a sample video showing you bits and pieces of the entire tutorial that you can locate on masterflash.net uh, where you can find source files and the entire tutorial. So what we're going to do is we're going to let this roll out for a little bit. Creating Chrome. Okay, in this one there's no introduction. We're just going to go ahead and get rocking and create this from scratch. So uh, the first thing to do is come up to create a new file, File New. And I'm going to set mine up to be 1,000 by 500 with 300 DPI. I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK. I'm going to go ahead and size this up to about 90% down here. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is fill our background color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Shift Backspace and come up here and select White, which uh, will eventually get changed. All right, so once we got that done, I'm going to kind of do this a little offhand here. Um, what I'm going to do at first is just kind of create a square, but I'm going to kind of size this up how I want, and that's why I'm manually going to do it instead of uh, just using this sort of stroke way of doing things, which would take, you know, a quarter of the time. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my uh, rectangular tool and really just going to draw a little rectangle about like that. All right, and what I'm going to do with this layer selected right here, I'm just going to hit Control J to duplicate it, or you can right click on it. I'm going to bring that back in here. Or you can just right click on it, duplicate layer. I'm just going to uh, Control J. All right, I'm going to slide this one down a little bit. All right, I'm going to hit Control J again. And I'm just going to go ahead and get out my free transform by uh, hitting Control T. And really, all I'm going to do is just slide this one on oh not like that I'm gonna go ahead and grab this and uh resize it like that all right i'm gonna go ahead and confirm it come up here to edit transform rotate 90 degrees and i'm just gonna kind of line it up over here all right and then i'm gonna get my free transform tool and just kind of size it up again you go ahead and confirm that and i'm gonna hit uh control j again with this layer selected I'm just going to slide it all the way across the file. It looks like I have some adjusting to do right in here. I'm just going to continue to uh, slide this on over. All right, so I need to resize that a little bit. So I'm going to select both these layers, hit Control J or Control T, and just kind of bring it down a little bit. All right, then of course I need to uh, readjust, bring that back in. I'm going to do the same thing over here. All right, so with that done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add another layer on top, and I'm going to get my text tool. I'm just going to go over here, grab some text, and I've got sort of a custom font in here. It's called Neuropool, and I've got this set up at 36 point. I'm just going to go ahead and put some text in here in all caps, Chrome Pipe. All right, now the one thing you have to be careful with, even this text that I'm using isn't that great. Uh, what you have to be careful of is that sometimes when we apply some of the adjustments uh, to the text and basically to the art itself, uh, if you have something thin, you're not going to get the full chrome effect that you want. So make sure you grab something with some girth. All right, and what we need to do now is we need to uh, actually make all this one layer. So I'm going to select all these layers. I can either hit right click, merge layers, or I can just hit control E. All right, because what we want to do is we want to get the uh, selection of this right here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Smacked you with my water bottle. All right. So what I'm going to do to get the selection tool for all this art, I'm just going to uh, control click on this layer icon right here. And it gives me the uh, selection. So once we have this selection, I'm going to come up here to uh, select. I'm going to hit save selection. All right, I'm just going to call this one Chrome Pipes. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. All right, and to uh, deselect our selection, I'm just going to hit Control D. All right, then what we need to do is hop over here into the channels area and just come down here and grab on this Chrome Pipes layer. All right, it should just turn it black and white for you. Okay, now we're not going to leave this alone. This is how we're going to kind of control the amount of uh, Chrome that we want. So we need to come up here to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And depending on the amount that you want this 
to appear as, I would probably stick between three and six. If you go below that, you're not going to get the quite the effect. And if you go above that, it's just going to be out of control. But if you have a bunch of thick art that you're trying to make all chrome, then obviously you would probably want to go up. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and hit OK. All right, so once you have that uh, blur on there, go ahead and select layers. I'm just going to come down here and add another layer to this uh, file here. All right, with layer two selected, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit shift backspace and I'm going to come up here to the use contents, but I'm going to select 50% gray. Just go ahead and hit OK. All right, now what we need to do with this is come up here to filter. All right, we need to come down here to render and we want to select lighting effects. Of course, that's going to bring this window in here. And what you're going to do, if you don't see this showing up down here, just come down to your texture channel and select your uh, selection that we, you just created, which is chrome pipes. All right. And depending, now this is going to take some playing around with to get it perfect for what you're trying to do. I'm going to go ahead and size this up a little bit. All right. That should look all right. And of course, we can always come back and play around with it a little bit more. So with that done, I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK. All right. So that's looking pretty good so far. Now, what we need to do is... We need that is the end of this sample Photoshop tutorial. To view the entire tutorial and get your hands on source files, head towards masterflash.net. I hope you enjoy it.